I'm joined on the line now by Joe McGuigan, bassist and vocalist from Gamma Bomb. Firstly, Joe, um, your last album, uh, Tales from the Grave in Space, you decided to give that away for free online. Yeah. Um, what was the idea behind that? Well, it was, a, it was kind of an experiment, just to see, um, see how it would go. And it was also a kind of career move, in the sense of one to really, one to kind of sort of break out of where we were and sort of move up another level as a band. And, um, like, you know, doing the free download really, really helped that because, you know, now we're, we're kind of more of an international metal band rather than being a UK slash band, you know? So you give you gave it away for free, um, and obviously a lot of people listen to it. But how do you make a living out of being a band if you're you're giving away your stuff for free? Well, you know what? If we weren't giving away the stuff for free, we wouldn't be making a living out of it either. You know, everybody in the band has got a real job. Like you know, some of us are reporters. You know, working in IT, that sort of thing. So you know, we're we're doing this band for fun and for free beer. We're not doing it to try and make a living out of it. You know. Right, but obviously it takes a lot of funding, because um, I mean I was talking to um, Craig Reynolds, the drummer from Viatrophy, uh, a couple of weeks ago, or I should say ex-drummer, and he was saying how, you know, if, if he thinks if so many people hadn't downloaded his album, then they could still afford to keep the band going, um, but you, you don't agree with that, you think it's, it's helping you progress more? Well, here's the thing, look at it this way, um, Bands like Megadeth nowadays are selling like, you know, maybe one million or eight hundred thousand copies of their album and they're down like people are downloading, you know, maybe twenty million people downloading their album. So it's not that people aren't interested in the music, it's just you know, like things are evolving. People people don't want to buy CDs anymore. You know, people are obviously there for buying like uh gateful vinyls and stuff, but the the format of CDs itself is kinda of dying, I think, so you know, it's it's not so much that it's not people are wanting to rob the music. It's just the music is there for free. You know, why why do people want to spend twelve quid on a crappy CD that they're going to put on their computer rather than you know just get it for free? Yeah. And our our ethos is, you know, if people come to our games or buy T-shirts, you know, we're happy enough with them doing that. Or if they check out the band and like us, you know, great. If they don't like us, cool as well. Mhm. Um. And but you also brought out a. a a sort of physical version as well um, yeah. through Earache. Uh, did, did many people buy that sort of compared to yeah, your yeah, album that you didn't give away it's, for free? It's doing great. It's actually doing better than a lot of them, Phyllis and Brian. So it kind of just goes to prove the point that um, doing the free download really, it, it didn't affect our CD sales. It boosted them more than anything else, you know? As a group, uh, you're also against ISPs taking action uh, against their users for, for downloading for free, I saw on your Facebook. Yeah, absolutely. Because you know what? I mean, like, it, it's just such a, it's such a stupid way of doing things because as far as they're concerned, like, you know, there's, there's no difference between how, how are they going to know that Gambon, Dorsch, Rapperture downloading, you know, our album? Like, they could be going after somebody who's downloaded Tales from the Graven Space legally and said, oh, yeah, well, you know, you're downloading the albums illegally. And you know what, I, like I don't care, man. I, I bought Master of Puppets on vinyl twice, on CD three times, and I downloaded it onto my computer like three or four times. So, you know, where, where do you draw the line then? Is it okay to download something and not okay, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, did you get to download an old nuclear assault album that you can't get on CD? Or, you know, you would be having to pay 60 quid on eBay to get it on CD? It's just like, you know, none of that money's going to the band anyway, so... I don't. I don't really think the whole argument of you know you're destroying musicians like uh, I don't. I don't think that really stands up. You know, once you have a look at it. Mhm. Did you ever think of sort of not going bothering with the record company route at all, or? It's not. It's not that labels are dying. It's just that the format of CDs is dying. The same way as cassettes at the end of the eighties. It's just the, mu- the music industry is dragging its heels, and it just needs to come up with a better format than CDs. Like metal CDs are still as vital as ever because. You know, not have to be paid for. It has to be marketed. You know, it has to be advertised. Like people need to know what's there, even if, if they're going to download it or buy it or whatever. You know. Mhm. Um. Okay. Changing the subject. You just got off a tour with Sepultura. How How was that? Yeah. Awesome. They were really, really, really nice guys. And um, actually, like we've done some shows in the past with um, 
the things that I ended up, um, you know, this is our first time behind the saddle chair, and, you know, they were awesome, really, really good, um, kick off live, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, how did the, their fans, how did you go down with their fans? Um, um, yeah, it went down really well with the majority of the fans. Like, there was some gigs were, you know, it was kind of a bit slower than others, but then there was other gigs where, you know, the, the whole room was kind of behind us. So I think a lot of the people who were going were even thrash heads, who, you know, were going just because they loved Sepultura and then the new Sepultura fans. So I think we picked up a lot of new fans along the way. 